Sarah Idan, former Miss Iraq. I was in Miss Universe and I took a selfie with Miss Israel, which caused the Iraqi government to decide to take my Iraqi citizenship for me. And to basically, my family ended up leaving Iraq. I had to leave Iraq just for taking a selfie with Miss Israel in Miss Universe. What is the source, in your view, of this anti-Israelism? Anti is it a religious or political matter? I feel it's definitely, number one, it is religious. There are many things that they taught Muslims in Arab lands, but I believe the reason they teach them to hate Jews in the end, it's political because how can you remove Jews from the Middle East? How can you take over the entire area? The only way they can do that is by convincing them that Jews hate Muslims, Jews seek to destroy the world. There are very radical Islamist ideology out there that also teaches them that Jews are not even human beings. They were satanic. Uh, creatures in human form. The amount of anti-Semitism that exists within radical Islam, it's it's crazy. It's like the Nazi, it's, it's exactly like the Nazi movement and this is why a lot of Islamists have joined uh, their movement with the neo-Nazis in order to defeat Jews all over the world. But also another thing that people they keep missing and it's huge, huge point, this fight is not only against Israel is not only against Jews, but it's against um, the main point is the fight that we have seen launched by radical Islamists and neo-Nazis is not only against Jews in Israel, but against the United States. They are against the West and what they call Western imperialism. And they believe that Israel is a huge supporter of the U.S. in the Middle East, and they need to remove that. If they can remove the American influence in democracy in the Middle East, then the next target would be uh, not only the U.S., Britain, all of Europe, all of the West. Uh, you mean the Islamization of Western countries? What they see, so the radical Islamists believe that any non-Muslim is kafir or infidel, and they don't even deserve to live. So their ideology, they want total control of the world. Right. And the problem, what people don't get is that while there are so many peaceful Muslims and they make about 2 billion of uh, the world population, the amount of radical, Islam, uh, radical Islamists within Islam are about 25%. So that's like the 300 million. That's the size of the United States. So imagine all those people want to eradicate uh, not only state of Israel, but the United States and the West in their ideology. So it's a serious concern that should make everyone worry, not just Jewish people, but American people. All Americans. All Americans, regardless if they are religious or non-religious.